this video will show you how to change the iTunes store, log into a different iTunes store and download a mobile app. So for this example, I'm going to log into the UK iTunes store and download a mobile app for watching TV online, the ITV player. Uh, so I've already logged in in the Australian iTunes store. I'm doing this from the iPad. So if you go to settings, and into the iTunes and App Store. I'm logged in, you can see my Apple ID there. I'm going to tap that and sign out. And then put in my UK iTunes address. I can remember it. And I've already done this through Gmail, just created a new Gmail address that I just use for the iTunes store in the UK. So filling in all the details and sign in. And the message there tells me that I'm now switching to the UK iTunes store. And then any apps that I download from the App Store or the iTunes store will be coming from the UK. So that if you need to update them and all apps need to be updated, then you have to actually Sign out of your Apple, your Australian one, log into your UK one, uh, and then you can update your apps. But for our purposes, yes, I do want to switch to the UK store. And it will then take me to the iTunes, or this is the app store. And the app I'm looking for is the ITV player. I'm going to search for that. And it's free, so the only apps I'm going to download from the UK store are apps that are free uh, because it's not going to take my Australian credit card, so I'd have to look for a site that would allow me to get uh, UK iTunes gift cards in order to get some credit, and I really can't be bothered with that. So it's only free ones I'm looking for, so I can install that one because I've already downloaded it before. Accept that message and go back down here you can see it downloading now, i couldn't download that app from the australian itunes store because it isn't in there there are some apps that are region bound country bound and you can't always get them so i'm still in the uk store and if i if i have got to remember to switch back again because i don't want to be in this store uh, all the time there are no, a number of other apps that are also would download and I've already downloaded those so I'll just sort of show you where I put them here. I've got a British TV folder and in that folder I have the, the 4 OD, 4 on demand, demand 5, the TV catch up which, which aggregates a whole lot of these channels and allows you to watch more um, British TV, the BBC iPlayer and what I will do is put in the one I just downloaded and put that one into that folder into here so that when I want to watch British TV I can go to that folder and know they're all there. Before I can watch anything I do need to have my VPN turned on because at the moment if I try and go into the BBC iPlayer even though I'm, I'm now in the uh, iTunes UK store it makes no difference when I'm trying to watch actual content. So this is the BBC iPlayer and let's just pick something this one and try and watch it and I have not activated my VPN you can see there it's only available within the United Kingdom so if I want to watch that I need to go and turn on my VPN so I need to set up my VPN or activate it and I'll, I'll show you this in two ways first of all we go to the settings and this is if you have a VPN that you have subscribe to so for example I have a VPN through strong VPN and I have a US IP address and a UK IP address uh, when you go to a site like strong VPN they will give you all the details which will allow you to add your VPN configuration all those details your server and your account and your password and once you've done that it's already here so if I need to use it, I'm going to use my VPN in the UK. I just turn it on here 
and now it's connecting using those details from the configuration that I added before. The status is now connected. You can see up in the top left there, the VPN is now activated and I am using my iPad as if I was in the UK. So when I go back to the BBC iPlayer app, and find it again, BBC iPlayer, and I try and watch this again, it should work. So it's just uh, buffering. And there we go, started. Natural world. So this is watching a program from the BBC iPlayer directly on the iPad. So I'll just turn that off. The only problem with this is that you can't use AirPlay to actually stream it from the iPad to your big screen TV. If I wanted to watch this program on the large TV, then I would have to use a cable to connect the iPad directly to the TV, either a VGA adapter or an HDMI adapter. So let's look at the other way to do it. So finish with that. And the other way to enable a VPN, if you don't want to actually subscribe, this is so much per month for the strong VPN. So go back to settings and just turn the VPN off. So now I'm back to using my Australian IP address. The other way to get a VPN is to actually use a, a free site which redirects your DNS settings. So the one that I've used which does work is, so if I go to, to a browser and go to the site called tunlr.net, tuna.net. And it allows you to, you, do the same thing on different platforms. So you can do it with the Mac or Windows, Linux, Apple TV. So if you have an Apple TV and you want to actually watch the BBC iPlayer on your Apple TV without connecting your iPad to your TV, you can use this one, DNLR, uh, Tuna, Tuna.net. Um, but if I want to do it with my iPhone or iPad, and there's a link there, which is this page here. Get off there. And all I have to do is change the DNS settings in my browser. Now it gives you the instructions there on how to do it. And so all, what you would need to do is, co is copy that. So highlighting it, tapping it, uh, copy, but just take the IP addresses, move it up. So you don't have to actually type it in. So you want the, the DNS settings. Once you've got them, you go back into settings and into uh, your network, so whatever network, Wi-Fi network you're attacked, uh, are connected to, and hit the little blue right hand arrow, and you want to change the DNS settings. The 192.168.1.1 is my router's uh, DNS setting by my local network. Um, I'm a big pond cable subscriber, so I have a, a public IP address which is not visible inside my network. Uh, to use region blocked TV, all I need to do is change the DNS settings that my networked devices are using. They're using my router's DNS setting. So I need to go into that. So I delete my DNS settings from the um, router and paste in the DNS settings from the, TU, the TUNLR.net site. Just get rid of them all. Separated by a comma. Press return. And it does tell you to restart the device, but I found that it actually didn't work when I did that. So all I've done is accept those choices. My DNS settings have now changed and it's using the, the, uh, the Tuna site. So if I want to make sure that that worked, I'm going back to the tuner site and there is a status page which will tell you if you're actually if it's actually worked so it says my tuner DNS address is set it's activated uh, all of the uh, sites that tuner allows you to use are now unblocked so I can use the uh, US uh, region blocked content I can use UK region blocked content Europe region blocked content 
I've got different DNS server addresses and so far I've used this and it works pretty well. Um, I'm still reluctant to get rid of my strong VPN um, um, server addresses at this stage because this is all very new but you know, one day I might. This is ready to go though so if I could now go back to the British TV and go back to the BBC iPlayer and then let's see if it lets us watch something. So let's pick this one. Britain's brightest. It doesn't show VPN up on the top there because I'm not using a VPN. All I'm doing is redirecting my DNS settings through tuna.net. And hopefully it works. And the, the problem so far with this free one is that it's taking an awful long time and I still haven't been able to watch it. Even though it's allowing me access, so let's pick something else. Let's pick this one, Graham Norton. And let's see if it lets me watch this. So again, it's buffering. But taking an awful long time to come up. So this is the reason I have my own VPN server with strong VPN where I'm subscribing for a small amount a month because it, this doesn't happen. There's a lot of people using this DNS redirecting so it's slowing down and uh, yes I can access it but I can't watch it. So for this particular site it isn't working. Let's pick a different one that's going to because the US is open as well, let's pick the um, an American one. So let's try the NBC site using tuna.net and try and watch some of their online content. So here's the online uh, Late Night with Jimmy Fallon. So let's just pick this. And let's see if this one works. So this one's much quicker, so perhaps it's the BBC iPlayer that doesn't quite like Tuna or there's too many people using it. But using an American site, NBC.com, is blocked if I try and watch that with my Australian IP address. Using Tuna, changing the uh, DNS settings, it's now allowing me to watch it and I can go full screen. Again, it doesn't have AirPlay. So if I want to watch... The this program on my big screen TV, I'm going to have to attach the iPad to the TV uh, or else set this up in Apple TV. But that's loading that video now. Still taking a bit of time, but it's a lot quicker than the, the other one. So let's just cancel that and go back. Now these are a list here of the apps that I have downloaded from the American US iTunes store. Uh, these are apps that will allow me access to uh, TV networks in the US and services that don't really require a subscription. Netflix, I'm able to use Netflix with an Australian credit card. I just need to sign up for a Netflix account and give a US address. I usually just Google a McDonald's store somewhere. But if I wanted to watch any of these, like the CW Network or TV.com, which they got, there's probably a lot of others, but I haven't s sourced them yet. So, so I put them all together. And then the British TV ones uh, for On Demand and Demand 5. So you need to download those from the appropriate iTunes store. But once you have, you've just got to remember then to either switch on your VPN or use the DNS redirector. And you know, the last thing before I forget is I have to go back into my network because I don't want to keep using the tuna.net DNS settings for all my general surfing. So once I've finished, I've got to reset my router's original one. And you, before you um, delete your uh, uh, DNS from your router, you probably need to take a note of it. Uh, it's generally the same as the router address. So I've got to put that back. I just press return to accept it and now I'm, I'm back into my original settings. Uh, it's a bit of mucking around but once you get the hang of this and you, you, know, you want to watch this region block TV, it's well worth it.